Hello, welcome to this week's update on China's embodied intelligence, particularly humanoid robots. And I'm sorry I was late for this episode. The top news in China's humanoid robot sector is undoubtedly Xpeng's Iron Robot, unveiled on November 5th. Its work was so natural that some suspected it was a human in disguise. So, in a bold marketing move, the electric car maker cut open the robot's leg to reveal its internal structures to the audience. Xpeng's CEO He Xiaopeng said that Iron is expected to enter mass production next year, though there are still improvements to be made and challenges ahead. But the real question remains that mass production uh, for what purpose? As a showroom receptionist at a car store, maybe, but certainly not to work on a car manufacturing line. So next to Shanghai-based Edibot. And since Edibot acquired the listed company called Swanko Advanced Materials, its share prices increased 15 times from July the 9th to November 11th. And the official WeChat account called Edibot Swanka published a poster for its upcoming humanoid robot concept, but then quickly deleted the post. According to the poster, the robot stands 188 centimeters tall and features a transformation mechanism, which means it can switch between the bipedal and quadruped models. So this is a great selling point, but uh, media reports said that Edibot was not developing this project. Actually, it comes from Swanka itself. But now Swanka has deleted that post. So it just generated more speculations. And remember that Edibot is already supplying its humanoid body components to other manufacturers. So allowing for more customization, such as adding vivid facial expression features. Now to Wuhan in central China's Hubei province. And this news may be confusing to the foreigners. On November 11th, the Donghu High Tech Development Zone, located in Wuhan, said that it has opened China's first humanoid robot 7S store. So what exactly is 7S? It's an upgrade of China's 4S model commonly used in the car industry, so like seals, spare parts, service, and survey. But now this 7S also includes solutions and showcasing and skills training. According to Li Zhengxiang, who is the chairman of the Hubei Humanoid Robot Innovation Center, so the store offers a comprehensive system that support the entire product's life cycle. All products are sourced from Hubei's local industrial chain, and the customers can not only purchase robots on site, but it's up to 100,000 US dollars. But they can also customize the features and apply for financial support. Actually, there's already a 4S store in Dongguan City, Guangdong province and also Beijing too. And then in Shanghai, Edibot is developing its own rental-based ecosystem. Now to Ubitech Robotics, based in Shenzhen City. It won a contract of 159 million yuan for the latest Worker S2 humanoid robots. And the delivery is expected to be completed in November this month. This actually is a surprise to me because Ubitech has already announced several orders, like to be delivered this year. It is also supporting the Beijing X Humanoid to develop the Tiangong series. So for Ubitech, the Walker series alone has achieved total orders 
exceeding 800 million yuan this year. And it is certainly at the forefront of the global commercialization of humanoid robots. It is worth noting that most large-scale humanoid robot orders in China currently come from the government-backed data centers. Remember last time I talked about the one in Shi Jingshan district in Beijing, which uses like a humanoid robots produced by Le Qu, another company also based in Shenzhen. So this Ubitech order is no exception. The buyer is a new company established only on September 25th in Zigong City, Sichuan province. And this company is jointly owned by two state-owned enterprises of the city. Okay, speaking of data, we have to mention Galaxy based in Beijing. So in August this year, Galaxy open-sourced its dataset, which was now downloaded more than 400,000 times. The data covers like residential, kitchen, retail, and office settings. Developers called it an important step towards the generalized manipulation models. Now let's look at the six little dragons which means the Hangzhou-based firms that have shaken up China's tech scene. They include DeepSeek, Unitree, and Deep Robotics. So for the first time, these six companies met at the World Internet Conference in Wuzhen. This conference, I remember this conference was such an important event like back like 10 years ago, but it has lost some of its appeal over the years. Anyway, at this event, Zhu Qiuguo, who is the CEO of Deep Robotics, mentioned that robotic dogs that are performing very well indoors and showed some issues like foot pad wear and overheating after just a few hours. So when they were tested at a substation, Deep Robotics has recently expanded into the humanoid sector with its DR02 model. Now let's look at some financing news. So the embodied AI startup called Simple AI or Shenpu Zhineng, it raised about 200 million yuan within just three months. The investment was led by like a Shenwei Capital which was founded by Xiaomi's Lei Jun and also CCV, and with participation from Baidu Ventures. This company focuses on the hotel, elder care, and ultimately household scenarios. Okay, that's all for this episode. Thanks for watching.